everyone, my name is Anita Cavazos and I am an LPC associate from the state of Texas, but not today. Today is my day off and I don't usually talk to you all on my day off. So hi, welcome to my channel, therapist out here in the wild <laughs> on her days off. And I'm really looking forward to bringing you all along. I've never made a video like this, bringing you all along for a day off, a self care day for me. The weekends are my days off, so Saturday and Sunday, and I do not work at all during those days. So even though I am filming right now, this is not something that I would usually do, but I thought it would be really fun to carve out some time this weekend to go ahead and do this, especially now that my client load is solidified and so much more balanced. And so I personally don't think that I have this other therapist persona anymore. I think that maybe I used to when I used to work for someone else, but me being self-employed, I feel like this is just who I am. You know what I mean? The difference of that when I'm working, I'm definitely just much more intentional and I have my therapist hat on. So right now, the therapist hat is off. And toward the end of the video, we're gonna go ahead and sit down and have a chat. And I'll be sharing with you some tips on how I care for myself during my self-care days and my tips for disconnecting from work when you are off of work. Because we all know, especially when we're first starting off as therapists or somewhere in the mental health field, it can be very difficult sometimes to disconnect from work. And I think I have really found what works for me. And that doesn't mean that we won't have some tough days as therapists where it may be a little bit harder to disconnect but something that has been very beneficial for me is knowing that I've created a work lifestyle for myself that is more balanced and more true to what I can do how I best function my ideal client caseload working with my ideal clients all of these things play a huge role in avoiding burnout and being able to disconnect from work so if you're new to my channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button I share all sorts of helpful videos for therapists in training those in grad school for other therapists and specifically LPC associates as well I have content dedicated to the NCE so if you head on over to my playlist I have a bunch of different playlists for you to choose from depending on what you're looking for but oh bueno it's time to take the therapist hat off that's something that I usually say to myself on the daily and we'll talk more about that later but it's time to take that therapist hat off and enjoy the weekend so let's go ahead and get started with this video so to start off the weekend everyone i texted my younger sister and we decided to both go to barnes and noble have breakfast together talk and catch up about our weeks and then do some book shopping and book browsing together i also took advantage of this time to do some christmas shopping for a gift exchange that me and my sister are going to be having and we had such a great time Baby, 
this is heaven Maybe that's just you I don't trust my judgment Cause I'm just 22 When my tears run in circles My heart is out in the rain I know that this is sudden But do you feel the same? such a fun time so this weekend self-care for me what i wanted to prioritize was a little bit more social self-care and recreational self-care and usually i'll just do a little check-in with myself i don't necessarily journal that check-in but that's definitely an option for me usually wherever i find myself i'll just take a moment to pause and i'll just check in with how i'm feeling and what i'm needing for the day and so sometimes i might be feeling really tired and so social self-care may not be the best thing for me at that moment but specifically this weekend it was something that I really wanted and needed so I ended up hanging out with my younger sister she is honestly my best friend and that's a relationship that we both worked on in regards to like respecting our healthy boundaries learning each other's boundaries and learning how to be intentional and respectful of each other's and so this weekend we decided to go out for breakfast together and book shopping so we ended up going to Barnes and Noble of course I ordered a hot chocolate because it is holiday season and then we just browsed around the bookstore it is so relaxing definitely let me know in the comment section if you also enjoy going book shopping or book browsing it's something that I love so much and that I've learned to love especially post-grad it was a decision that i made for myself that i really wanted to fall in love with reading again and so it was really hard for me personally to be able to do that while i was in grad school and having to work it seemed more of a chore and something that was more tiring with all the readings that we had to do for grad school and now going on for almost a year of being on that journey it's something where at this point i am loving craving and enjoying it versus when i first started i would only be able to read a little paragraph or a chapter before i would get tired and put it away and i just gradually worked my way up to doing that so being able to have moments like this on the weekends and reflect also taking time to reflect is something that i like to do during the weekends on my own growth and things that i am proud of myself for because at one point in my life that was not something that i would take time to reflect on but i think being a therapist for sure makes us hyper aware you know of moments like this and just gives us a lot of tools that we can also apply for ourselves and so while me and my sister were there together i ended up shopping for her christmas present because we both decided to do a gift exchange for each other and we also set up what price we would be comfortable with so we discussed that another just healthy boundary and trying to be respectful of each other's finances and abilities and where we may find ourselves and so with that budget in mind i decided to take advantage of that day <laughs> and kind of plan ahead for things in case something comes up or i were to get busy or something like that you just never know so i took advantage of that time and i told my sister to just be in another section and so now it's time to go ahead and have lunch and i'm going to go ahead and wrap the presents probably watch a christmas movie and just relax because because I am more on the introverted side, I am definitely the kind of person that after having social interaction, even though I'm having a really great time and I have to be very intentional with who I spend 
that time with when it's over i do feel tired so i'm going to allow my mind to just rest and just decompress and enjoy my own company and relax and then tonight i'm gonna go ahead and either watch a show or a movie with my husband and we'll go ahead and hang out spend some quality time together but for now this is my little me solo time while i was eating lunch and doing some christmas decorating i really took some time to reflect on how special this holiday season is for me because it's the first holiday season where I feel like I'm truly present and enjoying my time because even previously when I worked in private practice for someone else I was still having to manage expectations, manage boundaries, and all of the things that come with being an LPC associate while being employed for someone else and all I truly wanted to do was just to spend time with my family after years of being in school and not being able to be present with them and just being broke as hell and this is something that I wish that those who employed pre-licensed clinicians really were aware of and these are some of the reflections that I like to do especially during the holiday season and especially now in this season that I find myself in now being self-employed everywhere on TV and Christmas trees, gifts, wrapping and cheer Just the worst time to be with someone special In all the movies there, kissing in the snow Holding hands and mittens, picking together at home I like the movies when I'm walking in the snow Cold hands and mittens, eating gingerbread home alone. I dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights, snow This is how it looks. I have the chocolate abuelita. I have some marshmallows so everyone can pick a mug on Christmas Eve or Noche Buena and make their little chocolate abuelita. Okay, everyone. So now it is time to go ahead and get into the tips portion of this video so how do i disconnect from work during a work week during my weekend when i actually have scheduled days off and so the number one thing for me is to create or have a set caseload where i feel comfortable where it gives me enough breathing room even if i am having some back-to-back -back sessions i'm still able to take a little bit of a break or breather in between the day or i'm only seeing a number of clients where i know i feel comfortable with and that is something that we can only truly learn by trial and error so for me i know that i cannot see any more than six clients a day and six is already pushing it i may have one occasional day where i see six clients but that does not happen too often usually it's anywhere between three to five i usually tally up by the week or by the month because my days vary so much some of my clients my bulk schedule within one day of the week and then i have other days between the week that are a bit more calm but it is definitely very important for me to set a boundary for myself and knowing how many clients i'm okay with seeing maximum for the day maximum for the week and maximum for the month and because i have that set in place it becomes a lot easier for me to be able to disconnect from work because I'm already working with a caseload that makes me feel comfortable and gives me the ability to do that. Now moving on to some of my rituals or habits that I've set in place for myself. One of them is what you heard me say earlier. So my self-talk, something that I say to myself when I'm about to go into work and more specifically when I am done with work for the day or I need to take a break. I will usually say something like I'm allowing myself 
to step away from work. I'm taking the therapist hat off. It's time to stop working. And it's definitely become a usual thing or a ritual for me to say I'm taking the therapist hat off or I'm putting the therapist hat back on. So that way in my mind, I'm actually visualizing something that is allowing me to step away from work or to go back into work. And that's very important for me, especially because I work from home. I have my home office. My therapy practice is virtual for anyone who's new to my channel. So it is definitely very important for me to have something like that in place because usually in other career fields like for example nursing right you might be in scrubs for the day and then when you get home you change into other clothes you know that work is over or you clock in or you clock out at another job and you know that work is over that it's begun and so it is very important especially for those of us who work from home who are self-employed who have our own private practice to set up these rituals for ourselves so that we know when work is over and when work has started because if not it is very easy believe me because I know I love this work so much. I genuinely love what I do. I cannot imagine doing anything else. I'm very passionate. I enjoy it so much. It is very easy for me to get into a work wormhole. And before I know it, I've forgotten to eat or I've forgotten to take a break, take some self-care time. And so that is why I also use alarms on my phone. So I have an alarm on my phone that lets me know when it's time to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is something that I will have on my phone forever. I've done it for the past two years and it keeps me accountable. And as much as I would like to think and trust myself that I can do that myself, that is one thing that I'm able to delegate, not even to another person, but just to my device, right? I'm able to just set that up so that my brain gets to rest from that. And I know that once that alarm goes off, it's time, you know, it's time to truly step away. Something else that's very important and crucial for me is my end of the day ritual. So something that I have created for myself because again when you are self-employed it's important to create these things for yourself I decided because I am no longer commuting to work because I work from home before what I used to do when I commuted to work I would listen to a podcast or listen to music and that was my way of gradually disconnecting from work and I would just visualize that the farther I was driving away from the office where I used to work was me just disconnecting from work until I got home. And so because I don't have that anymore, I had to create something for myself. And for me, that now looks like changing work clothes. So whatever clothes I am wearing to see my clients when I am done and I've said, I'm taking that therapist hat off, I go and I change my work clothes once I know that I'm not going to be seeing clients. It is the end of my work day and something else that I usually do is that I will not go back into my work office for the rest of the night for the rest of the afternoon whenever my work day ends I truly try to not go back because whenever I am in that office my mind and body know that I am working just me walking into that office feels like I'm in work mode already and so I try not to be there unless I have to clean or answer a quick email but for the most part I try to keep that separate and usually I get a lot of my notes or work done out here in my living room on the couch and all of us are different so this is just what works for me because I know that when I'm in that room I'm only meeting with my telehealth clients or I'm filming and so I personally like that separation for myself and so after this again it's the end of the work day usually I start to do some self-care activities so I'll take off my makeup you know I'll do my regular skincare routine which is just really short honestly like I just wash my face with the cleanser and take off my makeup it's it's nothing spectacular so I'll do that and then I'll go ahead and practice a recreational activity so sometimes for me that looks like playing video games so one of my favorite games currently is Disney Dreamlight I'll go ahead and pop some of my other favorite video games here on screen for you all I'll do that or I'll continue to read one of the books that I'm currently reading and again I will go ahead and put up on the screen some of my favorite books that I've read for for fun lately that I've honestly loved so much. Usually right now I'm in a season where I am getting my movement in earlier in the day, but sometimes it does happen or it has happened where I do feel like having movement at the end of the day, especially if I've had like a really hard day or there's just been some harder cases that have taken a little bit 
you know more of a toll or it's just something that's been really difficult for even me to process i will go ahead and go get some movement in by going for a walk at one of my local parks or going to my gym so i might get in some movement cook myself dinner or order dinner depending on how i'm feeling i'll take some time to facetime my sister and then usually me and my husband will talk every day after work and we'll usually catch up and talk about our days and how everything went for each other so those are the usual self-care activities for me you know at the end of the day to signal that it's time to stop to decompress and something that is also very important is my self-talk during this process so I make sure to let myself know especially on hard days hey you did your best as a therapist you are helping your client feel empowered and take the tools that you've given them into their own hands this is their life and you've helped them now it's their turn and their time to apply these things in their life and to do what they have to do in their day to day your job is over for today so that is some of what my self-talk sounds like and it's something that has taken practice it feels a lot more natural for me now versus my first year as a therapist and even where when I just first entered the mental health field as a facilitator slash case manager that time was rough and it ended in burnout if you've watched my my previous videos so this is definitely a completely different phase season of my life and just me as a person as a therapist I've learned and I've grown and so I hope in sharing some of these things that it gives you ideas of what you can do for yourself because we deserve to disconnect from our work being therapists or mental health professionals is what we do it's not who we are we are so much more than the work that we do and we are allowed to keep that identity and especially those parts parts of ourselves that make us who we are. It's definitely very important for us to define our own healthy boundaries as clinicians. You know, if you need to write them out, take some time to write those. I know I did, especially my first year as a therapist, I took some time to just write down what my healthy boundaries would be, going to work for someone else, to stick to them, to keep myself accountable. And I also did that for myself now working in my private practice. I decided what I would be okay with, what I would not be okay with for my own mental health and well-being so i definitely recommend that as well having those boundaries with our clients with social media with our loved ones defining that is so so important and also just setting things in place for ourselves to get back to the basics right are we sleeping enough are we eating at least three meals a day those things that we help our clients with that we also need right which is why i have my phone alarms you know the basic things are the things that tend to go out the window as we all know when we find ourselves busy stressed or excited you know about the things that we're doing and so that is it for this video everyone i really hope you enjoyed coming along with me for my day off and hearing some of these tips i hope you found it helpful if you are new to my channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the keep on growing community give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave me a comment down below hit that notification bell all of these things help support my channel so that i can keep creating videos for you all thank you so much for watching everyone take care and i will go ahead and see you in my next video bye